Hey everyone, this is Taiki. Today we're gonna learn hazu. Hazu means expect to. But in English, it's better to think it's supposed to. Before hazu, you can insert informal verb, e adjective, na adjective, noun. Let's look at e adjectives and verbs because they are the most easiest to conjugate. Kyo wa atsui hazu desu. Kyo wa atsui hazu desu. Let's quickly locate hazu here. So, atsui means hot. So, e adjective. Then, in with e. Today, it's supposed to be hot. Today, it's supposed to be hot. Another example. Kare wa nemui hazu desu. Kare wa nemui hazu desu. So, let's locate hazu here. Nemui, sleepy. Also, e adjective, right? He should be sleepy. He's supposed to be sleepy. I expect him to be sleepy, okay? So, maybe he put an all nighter. Simple, right? The adjective. Now let's look at verbs. You want to make sure when making a verb sentences, hazu sentences with verbs, you are using informal or dictionary form. Kare ga kuru hazu desu. Kare ga kuru hazu desu. Let's look at hazu here. Now where's the verb? Kuru. Come. He is supposed to come. He is supposed to come. Okay, so it's informal. You don't want to say kimas, it's mass form, it's formal. Typically, in Japanese, when you conjugate, you want to use the, the informal way. You can use this, kuru, in past tense. So if, you, if I change to, you know, past tense, came, kare ga kita hazu desu. So he's supposed to be, I expected him, that he came. Okay, so you're sure that he came, okay? He ought to have come, is how I would translate. Again, kita is informal also. Okay, so that's verb and the adjective. Now let's look at an adjective and nouns. Oh, I forgot to mention. But you can use fastness for e adjectives, of course. So, kyo wa atsukatta hazu desu. Today ought to have been hot. Instead of atsui, you can use it in a past tense too. Now, na adjective. Let's look at na adjectives first. So, when using a na adjective, you want to make sure you put na. You don't want to have just the na adjective stem. So, the word shizuka means quiet. Okay? If you add something, I don't know, shizuka na, izumi. Okay, that's lake. Okay? If you have a noun after the na adjective, you want to have na. That's what I mean by na adjective. Okay, that's what that's what na adjectives are. So this part is called stem. S T E M stem. But when you use hazu, you want to have the na also. Let's look at the example. Restaurant wa shizuka na hazu desu. Restaurant wa shizuka na hazu desu. So restaurant, restaurant. So let's look at here. Hazu. Now shizuka quiet, right? You want to have na here. Okay, restaurant is supposed to be quiet. Restaurant is supposed to be quiet. Now, this is a present tense. It's supposed to be, but if you want to make it this into a past tense, you simply change this part to datta. Restaurant wa shizuka datta has this. Restaurant was supposed to be quiet. That's na adjective. Let's move on to nouns. He is supposed to be a teacher. Kare wa sensei no hazu desu. So sensei, uh, let's look at hazu here. Sensei is a noun, right? Teacher. So he should be a teacher. He's supposed to be a teacher. I'm not too sure. Maybe some he told me that he taught something. Oh, he's supposed to be a teacher. No. In that situation, you use hazu. Now, uh, let's look at here. No. It's slightly different from na, because you want to have na in na adjective, but for nouns, you want to have no. Okay, mnemonic I thought of is noun, spelled as N-O-N, N-O-U-N. Maybe you can use this N-O in, as a noun for mnemonic, I don't know. I just thought, thought about it. Okay, so this is present tense also. Now if you want to make it in a past tense, same as na adjective. Datta. Kare wa sensei datta hazu desu. Okay, so he was supposed to be a teacher in the past tense. There's some advanced stuff when using hazu. This is not limited to verb or e adjective and adjective noun. It's about uh, negative form of hazu. It's a little advanced, but if you are comfortable up to this point, we can talk about that. So let's look at the uh, first example, the verb example. Kare wa kuru hazu desu. Okay, so he is supposed to come, right? Hazu here. Now you can change this kuru to konai, okay? The negative form, okay? So it's affirmative, kuru is affirmative, konai is negative. Now when you say kare wa konai hazu desu, you expect him to not to come. So you might be surprised if he comes. Now, however, if you change this part to ga nai, by the way, this is not the negative form of desu. It's different. But if you change this to ganai, uh, in that case, kare wa 
来るはずがない。In that case, he can't come. There's no way he would come. So it's going to be stronger than the previous sentence. If you need to compare, just feel free to pause the video and just go back. 彼は来ないはずです。I ex don't expect him to come. Versus, 彼は来るはずがない。He can't come. There's no way he would come. Okay, so the 来るはずがない this the latest sentence is stronger. Now you can use 来ない to make it double negative. What happens? 彼は来ないはずがない。彼は来ないはずがない。Will be there's no way he won't come. So you're sure that he will come. I know it's a little advanced, but I want you to pause the video until you understand. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of this content, I will be very, very happy to make. And if you have some requests, you can suggest in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Until next time.